Hello, Jasper, and hello, Andrew. Um, this is, oh, my, my name is Oceana, by the way. Uh, this is that video that I said I would send over about what you can do um, to get your business in front of people searching on Google. Um, the idea behind this business, uh, this, this, sorry, this video is that you can go and do this yourself. I'm not expecting you to come back to me and uh, have me do this stuff. Uh, this is really for you to go out and, and be able to get your business in front of people. Um, so here we go. I'm just going to give you a few quick tips and I hope that you get a lot out of it. Uh, first thing I want to say is your website's beautiful and you've got this big click to call phone number. It makes it really easy for you to be reached. I think you're doing a really fantastic job. There's just a few things that I think you can improve that will result in you being um, displayed higher in the Google results page um, so that you get more traffic coming to your site and therefore more calls to your, your phone, <laughs> more checks to your bank account. So, okay. Um, so I kind of went up and down the page looking for the amount of uh, content you have on your site. Google loves lots of words about what you do because that's how it understands who the experts are. So it thinks, you know, if you have lots of words on your site about what you do and where you do it, you must be the expert. Um, and that's going to help your place in it, placement as well. And then another thing is you can actually um, save your images. Let's see if I right click and click save as. I can see this was saved as counter rotating brush. Um, so what you could do is actually re-save these images, re-upload them as um, basically saving them as specific phrases that people are typing into Google when they're looking for your services. Um, and that will help you basically indicate to Google, hey, I'm the one that you know does this stuff. Um, and the words, the phrases that you're going to want to include on your page are here. I did a bit of research um, on carpet cleaning in Aurora, and this is what I came up with. I also checked out Denver, but the, the competition was a bit higher, so Aurora is what I went with for this video. Um, so we got carpet cleaning in Aurora, Colorado, 90 people a month, or 90 times a month. This is being searched in Google. Uh, carpet cleaning Aurora, Colorado without the in um, is technically a different uh, phrase, even though it's to us, it's the same thing, right? But to Google that in makes a difference. So there's another 50 people typing it that way. There's more people typing it this way, etc. So you can see how it really stacks up. The other exciting thing on here is that um, this keyword difficulty is, oh, whoops, is very low. <laughs> so uh, you can see the hardest one is the seven here, which I didn't mean to... Um, Click on that. Let me see if I can do that now. Um, so most of them are like five and below. This goes all the way up to 100 and five and below is what we call the low hanging fruit. So that's why I think it'd be so easy for you to go ahead and do this if you decide that that's what you want to do. Um, okay, so once we figured out what keywords we want to show up for, we have to take those keywords and put them into Google to see what it is we're up against because this is where we want to show up. We want to show up here in the maps uh, map section and we also want to show up down here in the organic results section so um, first I'm going to cover how to get up here and this is a little bit of a side side note um, so what you want to do is make sure that your Google my business is set up and accurate so you want your name address and phone number spelled exactly the way that you like it spelled because then you're going to take that information and put it all over different directories online like Yelp, Yext, City Star, White Pages um, yellow pages, um, all these different places where you can list your information as a citation. And every time that you do that, it's going to basically prove to Google that you really are legitimate, that you really do serve this community. And that's going to help your credibility and it's going to push you further closer to the top of the results. And if you end up in the top three, you actually end up in this little map pack here. And that's going to drive a lot of people to your website. And it's also going to get a lot of people to pick up their phone and call you. Um, okay, and then and that's going to be on a regular basis. You know, as long as you're sitting up here at the top, um, you're going to be continuing to get those calls every month, every week. You know, and um, okay, so then down here we have the number one organic result. This link right here will get the most uh, most clicks out of any link on this whole page. Uh, so this is a really good spot to be in. Um, down here, these are also really good spots to be in. 
but this one's the best. <laughs> so we're going to compare you to that one and I'm going to show you what your competition is doing and why they're sitting up there at the top so that you know what you can do to also be there. So you'll see that their website's pretty fancy looking. They've got like a little chat thing right here. None of that matters. <laughs> um, what really matters is the content, the images, and the backlinks. Um, so like if we take a look at how many words on their page that they have on their page, you're going to want to have more words than that. Um, and you're also going to want to make sure that you are saving your images as those key phrases because they are also doing that. I was looking at their site earlier. You can see they have window cleaning Aurora, Colorado. You betcha that is one of the um, the phrases that you're going to that they would want to show up for. You don't do window, window cleaning that I know of. Um, <laughs> but this would be an example of them putting those keywords into their site and in, in behind the images so that um, so that basically they show up for those keywords as well. And then you, you know, they've included these keywords throughout, you know, carpet cleaning in Aurora, Colorado, right there in their headline. So um, it's uh, those are a couple of things that you want to do. And then over here, I put them into this Arabs, and we can see that their UR score, so the, the trustworthiness of this one site, uh, this one page, is 28 out of 100, which is pretty good. Their entire website is a 22 out of 100, which is also pretty good, but not terribly so good that it would be um, impossible to reach them, right? Like this isn't so so high that it would take forever to win. So, um, and then we can actually take a look at their backlinks and see what kind of backlinks they have. And you can see that they have some high quality ones like topratedlocal.com has a DR score of 80. That's really wonderful. Um, so that's going to be pu pulling their results up. Um, and then these ones down here, though, Philo so s h i t dot blogspot dot com, um, Joseph Stores dot blogspot dot com. Um, these are kind of like random, right? And then they've got these really low scores. Um, these are not good, and these are probably got. Um, they probably got these back when. Um, the more you backlinks you had, the better. But nowadays it doesn't work like that. You want good quality backlinks that are from highly credible and relevant sources. Um, and that's what's going to help boost your uh, credibility. So the fact that they have all of these really low scoring um, backlinks here, uh, it's actually kind of good news for you because even though they have all of these backlinks, you don't actually need that many <laughs> to uh, win because you just need to focus on the higher quality ones. So you'll see like they have 104 referring domains to uh, more than 400 backlinks and you've only, oh, oh, you've got, is this you? Holy cannoli. Did I miss this before? My gosh, it's getting late. Okay. So you've got quite an impressive, um, quite an impressive thing here. Where are you on your organic keywords? Polyester carpets. Are you showing up for anything decent up here at the top? Um, you're showing up for uh, first for a lot of things. What's going on? But you're not showing up for any keyword um, keywords that people are actually looking for when they're looking for carpet services in Aurora. So. Um, this is an issue. <laughs> um, you definitely want to find keywords that have um, what you do and some some place that you do it. Because uh, like if somebody's typing in commercial carpet, oh well, actually yeah, somebody's typing in commercial carpet cleaning Denver. This is showing that they're in the Denver area and they need your services. So that's a really good one. Even though there's only 20 people approximately typing that into Google each month, um, that's actually still a decent one. However, something like mildew smell after carpet cleaning is not as helpful um, because like, okay, <laughs> the person who's typing that in could be an Oregonian. And this could be someone in Canada. Um, this could be someone in Denver, but that doesn't even want carpet cleaning. So um, I don't, it, it's just not as helpful to show up for that is what I'm saying. So you want to really go after keywords that show high buyer intent. So, um, okay, so that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. My throat's starting to go. <laughs> my, my voice is so shot from today. I've recorded a lot of these today. So, um, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. 
Um, I hope that if you have any questions, you'll reach out to me and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have and try to help you in any way that I can. Thank you so much. Bye.